Hi, welcome to Taste of Ulster TV. This week we're celebrating one of Northern Ireland's biggest food heroes, Peter Hannan. The meat merchant in Moira, Peter Hannan has won more Great Taste Awards than anyone else. And we have been given exclusive access to the first film crew to be allowed into his Himalayan salt chamber. Let's check it out. It's my playroom and they don't even give me a key to it. Um, there's only one key and Dave has that uh, because I'd be living in here pretty well. Look, this is um, that's our wall of salt, 16 and a half tonne of um, Himalayan salt. We got mined out of the Himalayan um, salt mines in Pakistan. And uh, you could write a book on how we got it here, been intercepted for been drugs and everything like that there, but we got it here and we built it. The perception is that the salt absorbs moisture um, out of the meat. It's, it's nothing to do with that whatsoever. Salt is soluble. Um, that salt is absolutely perfectly dry. Um, if it were damp or if it was absorbing moisture, it would just run down the walls. That's what would happen. The salt gets all the headlines and it's a very, very important part of the process, but it's only one of six different elements that are involved and having the perfect balance is very important. The, the whole process is absolutely consistent and it has to be because that there is the most inconsistent product you'll ever put your hand on. There are no two cattle the same, there are no two steaks the same unless they come off the same animal and one thing or so. You know, the process has to be utterly consistent because the starting raw material that we um, have in our business is utterly inconsistent. So what we're really trying to do is make it as good as it can be. The whole purpose of aging meat is that um, you allow bacteria to break down the muscle. That's what makes our meat tender, is aging it. And um, also to concentrate the flavor. Here's what happens. You hang a piece of beef in a cold room, it gets better for 10, 12, 14 days because it can do nothing else. After that, it starts to plateau, and after that, it actually starts to go down after about 23, 25 days. And that's all to do with bacteria. When it starts to plateau, it's the bad bacteria basically moving in and gobbling up in simplistic terms, to good bacteria. So that stops your good aging going on. Then it starts to go down, and there's no nice way of saying it, that is your meat starting to decompose or rot. What we're trying to do is keep the good process going, stopping the bad boys from coming in at all, and allowing the good aging to take place over a lengthier period. That's basically what it is in simplistic terms. It's, it's nearly 10 years ago now um, we set about um, through making an awful lot of mistakes, um, trying to find a method where we could dry age beef. And to do that, we had to understand the science of what actually takes place when we're maturing meat. What, what happens? What bacteria come when? When do they come into play? What happens? Um, you know, where does your temperature, your humidity, your air speed, all those things, where do they need to be? And yeah, it, it took us ages because we're, we're, we're just a small little company in one thing and, our, and um, you know, what we did do was we educated ourselves and then we put a lot of those conclusions together and where we had problems we looked for solutions and when we found solutions it led to another problem and one thing and we um, set about solving that you know so it, it, it's been a learn it's been a learning curve but i'd have to say we know a good bit about age and meat at this stage because we've made enough mistakes to know it